says for racial minorities, and he is disparaging America as racist. And the national liberal media is listening to him without critical judgment, listening to this man who's been the recipient of just about every benefit this great nation can bestow on a citizen who begins life with so little. Mr. Obama has become, while in office, more entitled. He has become more elitist, more superior in his attitude and, and his tone, as he obviously looks down on the rest of us lowly American citizens who were, in the words of his Obamacare architect, so stupid that we listened to his lies and we believed them. And now this man claims, without moral authority of any kind, that racism is, quote, deeply rooted in our society. I would mind less that President Obama thinks so little of us that uh, if, if he just hadn't taken quite so much from us. In his new interview with People Magazine, Mr. Obama says, quote, there's no black male my age who's a professional who hasn't come out of a restaurant and is waiting for their car and somebody didn't hand them their car key. Wow. The president has launched a crusade of ignorance against this country that has given him all that he has today. When he should, in my opinion, be saying, thank you, Lord, thank you, America. Is Mr. Obama grateful in any apparent way? No, not that I can see. He railed about having once been mistaken as a valet and as a waiter when he was wearing a tuxedo at a black tie dinner. Is then the president's top advisor also a racist? Valerie Jarrett mistook four-star general Peter Carelli for a waiter back in 2011. First Lady Michelle Obama went on to give an example of racism in this country of her own. She recalled an incognito trip to a Target department store where a woman asked the First Lady for her help. The First Lady of what? And the First Lady this week joined in the White House's campaign of ignorance, telling People Magazine, quote, she didn't see me as the first lady. She saw me as someone who could help her. Those kinds of things happen in life, so it isn't anything new. My God, the courage it must have taken, the sacrifice that she made. Aren't you impressed? So why am I talking about the first lady? Why is this an issue now? But wasn't when the first lady first described the incident to David Letterman two years ago? She portrayed it then very differently. She said, excuse me, I just have to ask you something. And I thought, oh, cover's blown. Mm. She said, can you reach on that shelf and hand me the detergent? I kid you not. <laughs> and the only thing she said, I reached up, because she was short, and I reached up, pulled it down. She said, well, you didn't have to make it look so easy. Mm. That was my interaction. I, I felt so I good. Know. And she should. Helping other people is a blessing always. But now the politics of racial exploitation have overwhelmed this White House and much of Washington. And the First Lady has fallen in line with the new American narrative spun by her husband's administration. Now her story has become one of racial discrimination. Ignorance in my judgment is now on parade in Washington. And it's time for all of us to call out our leaders for their cynical, despicable, hypocritical words and their unseemly conduct. No American, in my judgment, should fail to respond to such words from the man who says he is our leader. Maybe we are only now awakening to what this administration really is. A new Wall Street Journal NBC poll out today finds a majority of us, 57% of Americans, now say race relations in this country are bad, compared to just 40% who say race relations are good. That is the lowest level in almost two decades since 1995. But perhaps most damning of all is the public's view of President Obama. The poll also found 71% of those surveyed want our next president to generally take a different approach than President Obama. I would also, for one, ask this president to apologize to the American people for his harsh, his unfair, his untrue judgments. But I assure you that now, I expect nothing at all from President Obama. Up next, first President Obama accused Americans of racism. Now former President Clinton, looking to the left perhaps, echoing the shocking remarks and raising the ante. Next, stay with us.